Jason Roach, London 166. Thanks for calling me uh, chair. Understandably, there are many of us today who feel on the margins, who feel misunderstood, who feel nervous about how they are heard. The color of my skin is one of those uh, reasons, but as we've heard from Michelle and Catherine and others, there are, there are many others. But I hope and pray that none of that means that anything that I say is beyond critique, whether I'm speaking on fixed odds betting terminals or anything else. The Archbishop of Canterbury left me chastened in his uh, sermon at the beginning of this uh, synod because I know in my heart there are those temptations that he spoke of to indulge my sin, to seek uh, influence unduly, to prize impact over faithfulness, even as I stand here uh, now. And I need you, brothers and sisters, both to recognize my context, yes, but to speak the truth in love to me and encourage me to keep walking the way of the cross. In other words, nothing that I say should be beyond critique. And I thank uh, those of you within the Synod who have come to me to chat informally uh, about my personal view uh, on uh, sexuality and marriage, which is the historic teaching. You know who you are, and I know that is costly to you, but they are right. My view is not beyond critique. The bishops have stated that at present they see the historic teaching of the uh, church founding in the, founded in the scriptures that we celebrated earlier in this uh, synod as being where we are and not intrinsically a roadblock to mission uh, or welcome. And I believe that that is a brave decision in light of all that they have listened to and the social context in which we live. They've said that they've heard but all that they've heard is not beyond critique. On both sides, that, that side that would want to move away from the historic teaching, that, that side that would resist exploring maximal freedom so that we can love LGBT people as much as possible in our churches. And I look forward to a fuller teaching document that cashes out that sentiment. <coughs> in the course of my ministry, I met a uh, woman who had a sexual history that uh, meant she was hated by her community. In fact, when I came uh, across her, she was about to be assaulted. And a man who uh, knew her came from nowhere and managed somehow to get these uh, men to move on. And then something incredible happened. This man who'd shown so much welcome, this man who'd made a safe space for this woman to inhabit, this man who turned away hostility, turned to this woman and said, sin no more. Her life was not beyond critique. I met that woman in the pages of scripture. The man was Jesus Christ, our Lord. He loved, and yet he was able to challenge as well. And I think this is what the bishop's reflections have tried to do for people on all sides of this debate, and I would urge us to take note.